So we have this 22 year old Jeep Cherokee. It's mostly retired now, but today I was going to take it out, get it cleaned up and gassed up. And I found that I had picked up a passenger. As you can see, Spider is my co-pilot. This guy is a Jaro Spider, and he's not from around here. In the early 2010s, Jaro spiders came over, probably in shipping containers from Korea to the North Georgia area, and they begin to spread and become an invasive species. Just how invasive? So by about 2016, it was no longer rare to spot a Jaro spider in North Georgia. In fact, they were being reported on a regular basis by then. Since then, they have taken over as an invasive species and in some places have almost wiped out the native insect predators. The first thing you ought to know is that Tammy and I hire an exterminating service that comes out every so often and sprays our house for insects around it. Uh, without that, that we'd be overrun by them. Every summer, especially insects crowd our home and this beats them back a little bit. And part of the process for those folks coming out is to knock down any spider webs they find around our house and they did. A couple of weeks ago, they came out. What you're about to see was back within three days. Let's just start here at the corner of the house. You already start to see evidence of them. Really, if you sweep up here even further, you'll see their webs all the way up there. These are all Jaro spiders. And we'll see as we come down, here's some more. Looks like they've been feeding recently. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to work my way underneath these spider webs so that they don't fall on me and track them down this way. And as we continue down, see more evidence of their webs. Continuing down. And here around the light, the porch light, of course, where a lot of moths are attracted, you can see there are a few of them. And what is really eerie about this species is how cooperative they are. I've never seen so many of one kind of spider in an area sharing and cooperating with each other. They are pretty much everywhere you look. We have Jaro spiders. That's a nice big one there. This girl's been here for a while. I think she's the queen. I don't know if they have a queen, but she has not moved from this spot and she seems to be doing very well from all the detritus from the critters she's killed. Here's another view of my girl. Look how pretty, look at those bold gold bands around her leg. Isn't she something else, folks? And we get to the other corner of the house and the floodlights are attracting a lot of them. Out here where we live, there's not any street lights, so pretty much every home 
comes equipped with floods. There's Shoro Spider. There's a couple of them up in there close together. Well, here's one right here that wants to wants to show off. I'm not sure how well you can see in this shot, but we basically have a network of webs that extends all the way around the house. I'm gonna show you the side here in a minute. Zoomed in about as far as I can go here. I'll show you where I am. I'm starting around the side of the house and zoomed in on the eaves to hopefully give you an idea just how far the Joro spiders have us covered and surrounded in our own home. From the entrance, from one entrance to the other entrance, I'll show you the back of the house here in a minute too. And as we come around to the rear of the house, you can already see how they've taken up residence here. Even the smaller ones that are starting to hatch and they breed very, very quickly. And then we get up here and in every area, they're very cooperative and have webs that overlap but there always seems to be in each area like a supervisor and back here this girl has been around back here for quite a while in our pasta jungle she is an impressive Spider, indeed. I got them all stirred up, touching the web. As you can see, we are literally surrounded in our own home by the Jaro spider, an invasive species from Asia. Again, the exterminators were out here two weeks ago. Three days later, this entire network was rebuilt. If your company's network were totally obliterated, could they rebuild it in three days? At first glance, the impact from this would appear to be positive. This summer, Tammy and I have noticed and have commented a few times on the lack of insects we have seen around our house. Our door is open and shut all day, all summer for the dogs to come in and out, for us to come in and out. And there's usually a lot of insects, moths, gnats, crickets, beetles, uh, you name it, mantises, we get it in our home. There hasn't been any this summer. This wall of Jaro spiders has wiped out all the insects that would have come into our home and set up shop. They are gone. On the other hand, the other spiders in the area aren't just having to compete for a food source. They have become a food source and they are being driven out of hiding. In some cases, spiders like the black widow or the brown recluse are being driven out of their usual hiding places seeking food because they're having to compete with these guys for it. And that's not necessarily a good thing either. The Jaro spider will bite, but it probably won't send you to the hospital. Uh, it will hurt about like a sweat bee sting, but that's about it. However, if you are allergic to that type of thing, to bee stings or any kind of insect bite, I would encourage you to avoid these things altogether or have somebody come out, pay them to come out and knock them down, to knock down their webs. It won't stop them, but it'll at least keep them from dropping down on you when you're coming in and out of, out of your home through their webs. Uh, Tammy wants me to take a broom and knock these things down. Tell me, would you want to knock these things down? 
So that's a snapshot of the invasive spider species, Jaro from Asia here in North Georgia. Coming soon to a backyard near you.